Is a public trust the path to a security clearance? Hi, this is Lenny Kaiser with clearancejobs.com. Check out our channel for more of your top security clearance questions. Was perusing the interwebs and saw a question that somebody had posted about how they were shocked that they had been able to obtain a position of public trust because of their very, very recent drug use. And the question was, hey, are they even looking into my background for this public trust clearance because I was able to obtain the clearance so easily? Um, the caveat and the common misconception, and I have made the mistake myself, is that a public trust is actually not a security clearance. So if a position of public trust is a position designation, People kind of consider it the most basic level of security clearance, but again, it is a, a separate terminology. The three levels of security clearance are confidential, secret, and top secret, not public trust. So a position of public trust, it's generally basically a very basic criminal and financial background check, and it's basically a level of access. So a public trust position needed for a lot of finance positions, Obviously, a lot of IT positions requiring access. You're not necessarily, you're not accessing classified information. So it's not going through the depth of what you would see in a typical security clearance investigation because you're not actually, you're not getting access to any of the secrets. So they're not worried that your drug use is a credibility issue. Basically, it's, are you, do you have the qualifications for employment? Can you do the job? And again, public trust might be related to some kind of finance or IT position. It's not actually a security clearance. So yes, you can get a public trust position with incredibly recent, very recent drug use in your background. The thing that made me sad about seeing this comment is that this person had actually opted out of a government career. They got so freaked out filling out the SF-85P, the requirements needed for their public trust position they listed, honestly, that prior drug use, went on and thought, submitted it, but thought, hey, I've got no chance, went and pursued a job in the private sector. Then they came back very quickly. A public trust can be issued in a matter of days. They quickly got that public trust position. And we're like, hey, what's the deal here? I'd already, after I filled out the SF-86, I just moved on. So don't discount yourself in the process. Even if you're going for a secret or top secret position, Prior drug use, it is based on the whole person concept. We can kind of give guidelines here, but no one can tell you exactly what will or won't disqualify you from a security clearance other than a few very specific light items, which you can find out more about at clearancejobs.com. But in general, the security clearance is based on your reliability, trustworthiness, judged based on the whole person concept. So don't discount yourself. Don't opt yourself out. Don't apply, then freak out and just move on to the private sector without giving it a chance because there is a good chance you will still be able to obtain a security clearance. So point one, don't opt yourself out of this process. Point number two is be honest on the form because where this will come back and bite you is yes, you can obtain a public trust very quickly with a lot of stuff in your background. What many people will do, whether it's a public trust or applying at the secret level or confidential level, they will fail to disclose things. And a confidential and a secret clearance are very much the same, just primarily automated checks. They're not doing a deep dive. If you have to go in for a higher level clearance later and they do do that deep dive, then, then you're out because then you have personal conduct issues of trustworthiness that you've lied on the form previously. So whether you're going for a public trust position or applying for a security clearance, be equally honest on the forms. There are not things that are automatic disqualifiers other than I am currently doing drugs and I will not stop doing drugs. Everything else you can get a waiver for, there is still a good chance you will be able to obtain a security clearance. So apply, don't opt yourself out, and second, be honest on the form. So for more on what a position of public trust is, the three levels of security clearance, and how to fill out the SF-85 or SF-86 correctly, visit us over at clearancejobs.com.